Eric Crawford here with Ultra Pure Systems. Today we're going to go over the installation of the RODI unit and the piping configuration. As far as the installation goes, we've already completed that, but what we used on this one was just shallow strut against the wall. We anchored it to the 16 inch center studs and we use spring nuts. However, there's many different ways that you can mount these to the wall. Just make sure the anchors that you are using are large enough and strong enough to support the weight of the system when it has water in it, which is in the IOM manuals and also the submittal package. As far as the power goes, all of our units require 115 volts, 20 amp circuit, with the exception of the 7500 and the 5000, and that utilizes 208, 230 single phase. All of our systems as well utilize a half inch female pipe thread bulkhead on side of our units. So all of the units across the board are gonna require half inch female pipe thread connections. Half inch male pipe thread connections rather. So without any delay, let's go down to the bottom and take a little closer look at the plumbing. Okay, let me show you what we have done. And this works really well for the mechanics who are changing the filters or whoever's changing the filters but also to get the best water, the optimize the, the, the most water we can get into the tank in the least amount of time. We have two different materials here, copper and stainless steel. There's many variations of piping. Uh, the only thing that we would recommend is always have the process water, the DI water in stainless steel or plastic. We wouldn't want to use copper on the process water. We always recommend three quarter inch going into the inlet. The inlet is, uh, we, we signify inlet is yellow and that also applies to all of our piping inside the RODI units. If you have a soft water system, that's okay. You're just gonna wanna put that upstream of going into the RODI unit. And we also have a booster pump that works really well if you have low pressure, less than 40 PSI, which we require. It will boost the pressure. It's a variable speed pump. It's manufactured by Gould. It's a, just a great pump. It's a plug in the wall. It has a controller on top of it and that will also go upstream of the three quarter inch going into the system. We'd recommend putting a ball valve so you can isolate the RODI unit. And at that point, we reduce it down to a half inch. All of our systems have half inch uh, female pipe thread adapters. The second line down is your concentrate. We uh, signify that with, a, with black, and it's also black pipe in the RODI unit. That's very straightforward. It goes out, and it goes straight down into the drain. The only thing we're gonna wanna make sure of on your drain is that we wouldn't wanna tie the humidifier drain or the secondary safety on the RODI unit underneath in the same pipe. This drain here needs to go directly to the drain. The last fitting on, on, on the bottom is your process water. The process water, we would recommend having a ball valve, and I'll, I'll show you why. The process water is going to go down, and it's going to go to a T, which I'll explain, and it's also going to go to another T. One side of that T is going to go down to your storage tank and the other side of the T is gonna go up to your process or the humidifier. We recommend putting a ball valve on the storage tank and uh, the reason we want that is if we change filters, we want to eliminate pressure going back into the RODI unit so we could shut that off. This valve right here, what this is designed for is it's always off, but if we're gonna change filters, we're gonna to wanna to shut city pressure off We'll leave process water on, open, but we're gonna shut tank pressure off so there's not any tank pressure going back into the system. And all we're gonna wanna do is open that up momentarily. And that's gonna just relieve the pressure out of the system and drain most water out of the system into the drain. And at that point, we could close it. It's the only purpose of that. At that point, we could shut off, we could shut off our pressure to uh, our, our process water, but we could open up our tank, and that way we have tank pressure going up to the humidifier. So if we're in a critical environment and while we're changing the filters, we can't have any downtime, 
This way we have isolated the RODI unit, but we've maintained the humidifiers and having water to be able to get to those. One thing I wanted to mention, and it's often under, misunderstood, is we have half inch going out of all of our RODI units, and, and we know the unit is capable of producing the water in the tank with a half inch pipe. But where we don't, and what we don't know, is the distance from the storage tank up to the process or the humidifiers. So here's a suggestion. This is a 14 gallon tank. Here's a picture of what's underneath this tank and it's a three quarter inch male pipe adapter. So this system has a three quarter inch that we're able to get the volume of water to go through the tank up to the ball valve. But after that, there's just a lot of unknowns how far the process is and the further distance the water has to travel, the more pressure drop that you have. So what we want to eliminate or try to mitigate is having very, very low pressure at the humidifiers and we run into low pressure alarms. And the way to overcome that is talking to an engineer or somebody who understands pressure drops and piping losses, but keep that in mind. From the ball valve or the T, just be aware of your piping size going up. The middle size or the medium size RODI units come with a one inch outlet and the large systems come with an inch and a quarter outlet. So we know we've got enough water volume to go out. We just need to maintain the pressure. That's about it when it comes to piping these systems. Again, this is just a recommendation. Um, at the end of the video, I'll put uh, all the parts that we used for this assembly, and if it helps when you're at the parts house, great. We also have on the back page of the IOM manuals a one-line diagram that will also show you how to plumb these um, properly and in best practice. So hopefully that helps. If you have any questions at all, you're more than happy to call us. We're always willing to help, but all we could really do is just make suggestions as far as the installation. It's something we've put a lot of time and effort into to make all of our RODI units very simple to install. So thanks for watching, enjoy.